You've talked about cardiac and renal amyloidosis from multiple myeloma and pheosomelia. Can you quickly just explain more? I'm confused by that. That's fine. So multiple myeloma is a cancer of what? It's a cancer of plasma cells. What do plasma cells do? They secrete immunoglobulins. Immunoglobulins are proteins. So when you have the M protein, the monoclonal protein spike, which is IgG, kappa lambda light chains, those proteins are going to fly through deposit in various tissues. The kidney, you get Ben Jones proteinuria with deposition of the renal parenchyma causing renal amyloidosis, type of nephrotic syndrome, there's no blood in the urine. Obviously, biopsy is going to show you apple green biofringence of Congo red stain. Cardiac amyloidosis, type of diastolic dysfunction, the protein deposition causes stiffening of the left ventricle. So if they show you an image, very buzzy, where there's whitish areas, which is the amyloid, there's more highly eosinophilic pink areas, which is the normal myocardium. But the key is that it's diastolic dysfunction, S4 heart sound, preserved ejection fraction, and if they show you an image and they ask you what's most likely responsible for the patient's cardiac dysfunction, the answer would be amyloid deposition. The wrong answer would be plasma cell infiltration. You say, I don't get why that's wrong. It's because plasma cell infiltration is what you see on bone marrow biopsy, greater than 10% plasma cells.